Hi everyone, Stephen here. So you're a VCF or a VMware Cloud uh, Foundation administrator and you made some changes in vSphere and these changes aren't being reflected in the SDDC manager and things aren't quite, you know, lining up anymore. How can I fix that? Stick around, we're gonna cover it. Hi everybody, thanks for sticking around. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the VCF import tool, but more specifically, we're gonna look at the sync option, right? Not the kitchen sync option, but the synchronize option, right? Um, but before we begin, I'd like to do a shout out for those of you that have subscribed to the channel and supported the channels with super thanks and stuff uh, and likes, two thumbs up to you folks, really appreciate it. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing. This is how I get compensated by YouTube. Without, con without subscribers, there's no content developers, right? So, um, and also I'd like to throw this out there as well. Other ways to support the channel is liking, leaving comments down below, sharing. And also I have super thanks enabled, that's, but that's totally up to you. So why don't we get started? Okay, so let's get started. So in this video, as I said, we're gonna take a look at the synchronize or sync option in regards with the VCF import tool. Now you can get more video, uh, sorry, more information on their website. I'll leave the link to this um, on the uh, description of the video here on YouTube. But essentially the VCF uh, import tool here, uh, if you go here, there's different options. The one we're gonna look at is the synchronize option. I'll leave a link to this in the, in the description of the video, okay? Um, and over here, it talks about managing your workload configuration draft, right? So if I click on that, it actually gives you a little bit of explanation here, right? If, you're, if your configuration drift between your vCenter server and your SDC manager are out, for example, SDC manager thinks there's supposed to be a certain configuration and vCenter says, no, this is the other configuration. So they're, they're both, you know, they're both conflicting, right? This could cause certain workflows to, to run, uh, to fail in your environment, right? So uh, you want to prevent this type of stuff from happening. But again, if you did make a change outside of SDDC Manager, I'm going to do a basic one here. Uh, there's this tool that you could use to synchronize things back up. And it tells you basically what to do, how to, you go to the support site and you have to download the tools. I can't show you that. I no longer have access to that. Hopefully that changes. You download this tool over here, the VCF Brownfield Import tool, get the latest and greatest. And then you go into your SDDC Manager and you create a directory here. Uh, you copy the files over, you extract it, and then you run this script here, okay? This is basically what I'm going to do in the video. So let's get rid of that. I'll leave a link for it. Let's go into the, uh, let me get my WinSCP going, and let me open up my SDC Manager. Let's log in as VCF. And uh, let me see, am I in my home directory? Uh, yeah, I'm in my home directory. So it tells me to create a directory here, say new um, directory, and it says VCF import. Okay. Uh, and then I'll go into that directory. Then I need to copy over, again, I've got it on my D drive. I need to copy over that Brownfield import uh, tool, the VCF import tool. So I'll call, I'll hit F5 to copy it. And there we go. So I now need to extract that. Uh, I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but this is how I do it. So I'm going to go into my putty, log in as VCF. Probably could have done all this in one shot, but whatever. This is just the way I do it. I'm going to change directory into VCF import. I'm going to do an LS there. There's the tool. I now need to extract it, right? So I'll type in tar dash extract verbose file VCF import. And it does it. It extracted it. Now, um, we need to we can run that tool but before we do that i'm going to create a, uh, a configuration drift from this right um so let's go into so let me show you something uh this is from my other video if i go into my workload domains i only got a management domain if i click on that if i go into uh, clusters you'll actually see i actually have two clusters here site a cluster 2 and this cluster 01 i don't like that name let's say i'm going to go and ch change the name so if I, um, uh, if I can go in here, delete cluster, rename cluster, or whatever the case may be. Now, notice over here, I can rename it. I'm not gonna do it here. I'm gonna go into vSphere. So in vSphere, there's the, the cluster, and I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna um, basically say rename, and I'll call it, 
whatever, my cluster dash O2, <laughs> whatever, something silly, all right? So there we go, I just renamed it. And it's not gonna be updated inside the SDDC manager, okay? So I now need to synchronize. These guys are out of sync. If I try to run a workflow, it'll probably fail on that, okay? So let's go back into here. Let me make this a little bigger, okay? And we now need to change directories into the, into the tool set directory. All that's in that document that I talk about. Then we need to specify the parameters that we want to run. So I'm going to type in Python. Python. I can't spell today. Python 3. Uh, VCF. This should be sync. Uh, dash dash domain dash name. And... Uh, I need to specify my management domain name here. If this was a workload domain name, you'd workload domain, you'd put in that. This is a my management domain slash workload domain. So I need to type in that. So let's go back here. And there it is right there. S SFO-M01. So I'll type that in. SFO-M01. Okay. And I think that's it. Now at this point... Okay, it's going to ask me to use my SDC Manager local admin password. Um, and by the way, just uh, if you get this wrong three times, it locks you out. Uh, that Sorry, it locks out that account. And then when you try to run this type of stuff, you start getting errors that it, it couldn't um, create scripts and stuff like that, right? So when you check the logs, it'll see that there's an account lockout and you got to get around that. And it, maybe I'll do a separate video on that because it took me a while to figure it out. And I'll hit enter. And you see all this yellow stuff here, like 200s and stuff. That's okay, right? So it's actually going through and it's going to run this stuff here, right? Uh, could not find uh, DNS. Uh, okay, so I got to go back up and take a look at that one here. I think I know what that one's about. I'll just, uh, let's go up. My DNS of SDDC Manager. Interesting. My DNS of SDDC. Okay. It's there. But we'll let this run. So I'm going to let this run for a little while, and then we'll see what happens. And uh, we'll come back. Now, hey, while we're waiting for this, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, consider supporting the channel. Hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. See you in a bit. I don't really know what comes next I'm just doing my best Even though I'm so stressed out Everything just feels like a test Okay, so that didn't take too long to be honest with you um, Let me make sure I was recording here uh, But I did get a, a couple of things here I always see this set data source 400 over. I always see that I'm not sure what that means Even when I do my convert I see that and things work um, It says your total checks 191 Successful checks 182 failed checks nine what the heck is going on there right uh but it did say inventory sync for domain success completed successfully so i got a green there so that's that's good okay well, let's come back to this thing in a second let's go back to my inventory here let's go into my management domain here where my clusters are let's go into clusters and we see it's now reflecting my cluster o2 okay so again that tool allows you to synchronize any changes between them if for whatever reason you're you're doing something in SDDC Manager, you're doing an upgrade or something like that, uh, or applying a patch and it fails, uh, and it, it, it's coming up saying something about things or there's a configuration drift of some sort, you want to run this tool. Okay, so if somebody's made a change outside the SDDC Manager, um, like what I just did, you're gonna want to run this tool. Okay, uh, now what was what what's going on over here about this? Uh, these checks and fails. Now, I've seen this. You want to watch my video on the convert. I'll leave the I'll think towards that at the end of the video there when I did a convert. Uh, and it's saying here, looks like it does some checks and there's a couple of things that are not quite right. There says there's nine of them. And there, there's this reports here. You'll see there's a YAML file. Um, there's a C and there's some CSV files here that I can look at this report and they're in this output directory here, right? And they're called these guardrail reports. So let me go into my output and let me do a cat uh, guardrails report and we're going to do the YAML, okay? Uh, I don't have to be concerned with this in this example because 
we're doing a sync and we see over here in the green the sync was okay so what's this thing talking about this would be for more for like if i was doing a convert or an import and i've done a video on convert i'll do one on import uh, we'll see what happens there so when i look at that file now if i open this up and i kind of went through and talked a bit about this in my convert video like i said i'll have a link for that here it's talking about esx upgrades talking about some settings that vcenter has that the SDDC managers, they don't match. Uh, and those settings would be stuff like uh, upgrade options on your ESXi host, right? Uh, that type of thing. And I actually covered how to repair those, uh, but that would be more for an import or for a convert and not for the this sync. So this is why uh, I can ignore this right now because my sync was successful, okay? But if I was doing an import or convert, I would have to repair these and I have that in my convert video, okay? Uh, basically on how you manage your, your cluster images and stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much it. It was pretty straightforward. It's a nice short video for you folks. Uh, again, please, if you found this entertaining or useful, give it a thumbs up. Please support the channel by subscribing. Leave comments and questions down below. Uh, I get back to all these, right? Uh, you should check them at least once a day, right? Um, and uh, if there's something you want to see me cover or do, please leave it down below and I'll, I'll see what I can do. I do have limited resources. Uh, and that's it. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.